It wasn't like soccer or something where I'm like always have to be running and stuff. You arm wrestle really quick if you can, then you take a break and then you go again. I don't know, I think I'd want to get to the best that my body will let me for arm wrestling, so the best that I can possibly be. He, he puts his mind to something, there's no stopping him. And I don't see him being stopped or stopping this as long as health is there. Some of the best arm wrestlers in the world have said if he keeps going, that he will be the best. He's smart. When, you, when you're a hockey player, you're a hockey player. When you're a tennis player, you're a tennis player. He's an arm wrestler. That's what he is. And that's what he excels at. He's got good genes. Look at his dad. He's a tank. Um, and he, he practices and he studies the sport. He's got great technique. He's 13 years old and he just was in a tournament in Nova Scotia where he was competing against men like in the senior class and he ended up winning that class, both right and left thumbs. Yeah, so he's right up there. For his age, he is, like to say, the strongest 13-year-old on the planet. He's got a table system beside his bed, upstairs in his room. He said, Dad, it's no good to me in the basement. He wanted it in his room, so that when he gets up, he goes to the table. Before he goes to bed, he's at the table. Now he's out of school, he's at the table. The first time I wrestled, I actually did what's called a top roll. So I just kind of use, like, I go backwards and sideways. It was in Winnipeg. It was my first ever win. And then I went to provincials. I won both arms left and right. And then I just won nationals. And I feel very proud after all my work's paid off. When he was two, his brother first was diagnosed um, with Chiari malformation. The brain dips down into the, into the spinal column and puts pressure in the spinal fluid area. You talk to doctors, the doctors say, okay, no hockey, no, no football, none of this contact stuff. So when we came into the arm wrestling thing, we were really guarded. We watched how things were coming and going with his abilities. It never seemed to bother him. And it was very tough for training and everything. And it made me have very bad headaches and everything. But now I don't have it very much anymore. Like it's pretty much gone. So I can train very hard and everything. We're going to Greece, Latraki, Greece, for the World Championships, and we are coming back as winners. When, when you meet up with Thomas on the table, you won't like him, but you're going to like him when he's done, because he's, he's got a great heart. Anyone can do it, and it's an awesome sport.